The following is a rebroadcast of TV50's Candlepin Stars and Strikes. WNDS Sports and Tri-State Megabucks present Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Oh, oh look at this. Look at that! He's, he's got it! Ready? Go for it, man! Candlepin Stars and Strikes is sponsored in part by the Washington Toyota Dodge Nissan. Looks good. Got Looks good. good. That's good to go. It's a home run. Candlepin Stars and Strikes is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Burke. Hi, everybody, and thanks once again for joining us here on Candlepin Stars and Strikes, and welcome to Park Place Lanes here in Wyndham. I'm Doug Brown, along with my partner, Dan Murphy, and uh, we begin, Dan, today our annual Mixed Doubles Series, something a little different here on Stars and Strikes. A little different. Uh, got some contestants with us this week, or the next few weeks that have been first time, and the others have been here a number of times, and so it's a good mix. All right, let's uh, let's meet our first two teams. Now, again, this is a standalone series, uh, so everyone is eligible for this one, so you may see some familiar names uh, in this particular series. Our number five seeded team making his first appearance on Stars and Strikes from Nashua, New Hampshire, Bruce Young, and his partner from Amesbury, Massachusetts, Tony Marie Baldinelli. Okay, Bruce Cummins averaging 117, his roll-off score at 669, and Tony Marie at 118 and 614. All right, and they will be facing our number four seeded team on the first week of this four-week mixed doubles series, and the number four seeded team is comprised of Kevin Davis from Penacook, New Hampshire. His partner is from Derry, Nancy Hunt. Okay, and Kevin comes in averaging 119, roll-off score getting right up there at 672, and Nancy Hunt at 112 and 616. All right, prize money will be detailed a little bit later on in the hour. We also, of course, have our bonus ball contest. That'll be worth $100 at the end of this week's show, so stick around. We're going to have some fun in the next hour. Three strings of mixed doubles bowling here on Stars and Strikes. We'll get the match started right after these words. Don't go away. All right, before we get started, a look at the roll-off scores. Now, keep in mind that the men and women competed individually in order to make it into this mixed double series here on Stars and Strikes. So here is how the men's roll-off turned out. Of course, the number one finishing men's bowler is paired with the number one finishing women's bowler and so on down the line. So you see how they finished one through five. Chris Sargent, Joe Ashline, John Maffeo, Kevin Davis, and Bruce Young, and the women's Order of finish looks this way. Janet Pock ahead of the field. Carol Downey second. Tony Wellspring followed by today's bowlers Nancy Hunt and Tony Marie Baldinelli. And here are the teams together now. We just take those scores and add them together to give you an idea of the relative strength of the teams in the final roll-off. So you see Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli, our fifth-seeded team against uh, <laughs> Kevin Davis and Nancy Hunt, our fourth-seeded team. Today's matchup and Tony Marie starts today's match for us. been a while since Tony Marie's been with us. It has been. I, actually, it surprised me how long it had been. It surprised me that she's only been with us so few times, too. Record uh, one and two on, on our show. And she starts with a ten. The last time Tony Marie was with us was back in April of 1987. Wow. Believe it or not. That was also in mixed doubles competition. Her partner then was Clarence Davis. They lost a semifinal match to Steve Vadney and Jackie Sterner. And the spare for Tony Marie. Again, the uh, format here is much the same as it is for our men's doubles format on Saturdays, the teams decide who will lead off in the first game, and then they will keep that rotation two boxes at a time for the first two games. And then to start the third game, if they want to, they can change the order to go with the hotter bowler. Adds a little element of strategy. Nancy Hunt almost coming up with a fine spare. Absolutely, just missing the 10 pin. Had the diamond plus the 10 pin. And this for a 10 box. And takes it. 
Nancy Hunt actually is one half of our defending champion mixed doubles team from last year. Nancy paired with Peter Flynn. Big first ball. Nine and ten pins left. Piece of wood rolling out, which he's definitely going to have to use. Nancy and Peter came in as the number one seeded team a year ago. And there's the spare. Nancy and Peter defeated Mike Poulin and Louise Hamilton in the championship match. Well, can't be any much closer than that. Pair of tens to start off, pair of spares. So now the men get a chance. Bruce Young making his very first appearance with us on the wins. Very first appearance in front of the cameras. That's right. He's, he's here quite, <laughs> quite often behind the cameras watching the matches. and knows a lot of the bowlers. Well, he's been waiting a long time to get here and finally paid off for him. He was telling me before the match, though, that he was a little worried because, of course, there are five string roll-offs that these bowlers compete in to uh, get here on the program. And Bruce had what he thought was a comfortable situation after four games, and then I, I believe he told me he rolled a 102 in the fifth game. He was a little concerned, but he hung on and got that number five spot. He wants that seven pin to go. 3-7 left, no wood. He's gonna have to do it all by himself. Try to cut the three on the right-hand side. Oh. And that'll be a 10 box for Bruce. 43 through four for the team of Young and Baldinelli. Kevin Davis. Kevin Davis is getting to be somewhat of a regular. Three, six, ten, four, seven left for Kevin. Not quite, tried to split the three and the six. Those of you who've been with us uh, the last several weeks will remember that Kevin was with us back on New Year's Day in the men's doubles format on Stars and Strikes Doubles. His partner was Rich Lottie. They lost their first match in that series. Kevin moving over to lane 31 now here at Park Place. Almost. Good effort on the spare attempt. And the 10. So just one pin separating our two teams after the first rotation. We've seen everybody now, and Tony Marie Baldinelli is back up. Oh, Tony Marie, very nice looking first ball and leaving somehow a solid eight pin. I don't think anything had even touched the eight pin, but she was buried it right in the one three pocket, scrambled nine of them. Now for the spare, no oh, problem. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Second spare for the team. Mentioned the uh, roll-offs are held separately for the mixed doubles competition. And Tony Marie looking for an extra pin or two. She'll take five on the mark. Missing the head pin to the right, but she's got a spare lead with all the wood in between and behind the one and the two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Tony will take that. That's right. Gives <laughs> us a smile. Hits the wood and everything kicks forward. I think the head pin was the last one to go down, but she'll take it. The uh, ladies' roll-off was held at the Londonderry Bowling Center. The uh, men's roll-off was held at the Lakeside Lanes in Manchester. So we want to thank uh, John Baldessaro and his staff at Lakeside. And Charlie Reed and the whole gang over at Londonderry Bowling Center for handling all the details on the roll-offs for us and making sure everything is in order. Nancy tried to avoid the piece of wood on the right, which she did, but she went too far left and cut the five pin in front of the nine. Good 10 though. 52 after five, down by six now, but facing another spare in the six by Young and Baldinelli. Come 
Clancy right back on the head pin again, and look at this! Ooh. Almost. Everything but the nine. And the nine is still wobbling back and forth. Nice, easy ball, Nancy throws. It's a lot of pin action. And she's right on this one. Spare in the sixth. Well, the ladies have done all the marking so far here. I guess the guys knew something when they had the women lead off. Huh? <laughs> Bruce Young. Oh, right in the pocket. Solid nine. That's on a spare left by his partner. And a nice piece of wood just to the right of the five, now resting against it. Just doesn't want to cap it. Takes it out. That's three in a row for the team of Young and Baldinelli. Bruce Young mentioned he hung on to that number five spot. He had that 669 roll-off score, which actually is an outstanding score, Dan. 669 is sometimes enough to win a roll-off. And he finished fifth, and even at that, he finished just one pin ahead of Ed Jorlman, who finished uh, in sixth spot and was the alternate for the series. Another nine-pin drop on, <clears throat> on that spare. You may remember Ed Jorlman, of course. Uh, he's half of one of our men's doubles teams that's already qualified for the Tournament of Champions. And the spares, Bruce drives it through. Four in a row now. Kevin Davis will be working on the spare put up by his partner, Nancy Hunt, in the sixth. Try to keep pace. Oh, there another is pocket hit. We're going to start seeing some strikes here before too long, <laughs> I think. Seven pin, piece of wood out in front. Kevin wants to be sure that the wood is come to rest and he oh he does not take care of it anytime that wood is out in front of that pin you got to be very very careful I was about ready to mark that one down I thought that piece of wood was far enough back to take it out you see it goes by the seven pin and around and back of it Ooh. Kevin gets a little mix here leaving most of the back row the seven nine and ten this wood is going to fly. Kevin doesn't really hold back with a velocity, that's for sure. <laughs> he really puts some steam in the ball. Oh, yes. No. Well, he got robbed the last one. This one he takes out. Spare in the eighth. Very easily could have been three in a row there, but down by 15, both teams have marks here in the eighth. Tony Marie will fill her team, say, with six. Four horsemen left. One, two, uh, four and seven. Looking for their fifth mark in a row. Not quite. Oh, wait a minute. Not enough. And the 10. 122 through nine. Outstanding first game for Young and Baldinelli. Wow, Tony Marie can be happy that that didn't happen on a spare. <laughs> Seven pins standing, two laying down. As only one was knocked into the pit, the rest of them decided to stick around a while. Yes, oh, what a try. Everything but the five. Up over 130, though. And 132 for Young and Baldinelli. Solid first game with five marks, four of them in a row. For those of you who are just tuning in, no, it is not Saturday. It is Sunday. <laughs> this is Candlepin Stars and Strikes. But today we begin our annual mixed doubles series. Something a little bit different. We're glad that you have decided to spend part of your Super Bowl Sunday with us. We get those parties warmed up later today. Oh, there's a good example. Well, wait a minute, hang on. Ooh, <laughs> piece of wood was behind and in between the one and the three. And I think that deflected the ball around the 10 pin. 107 through nine for the team of Davis and Hunt. I'm not gonna grab the lead without a double strike, but certainly a spare 
and a big fill would certainly close it up. Four horsemen right plus the uh, eight pin. Just sliding by the head pin. And it's a nine, a one sixteen. So after one game, first week of our mixed doubles series, Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli with a 16 pin lead. We'll be back with details on our bonus ball contest coming up after this time out. Don't go away. Kevin Davis leading off game two. Kevin and his partner, Nancy Hunt, trailing by 16. Pretty good match going here so far. We have seen uh, all spares to this point, but we have had some very close calls on strikes. Oh, nice 10 for Kevin. Kept that ball in play, came up and over the top into the 10 pin. Watch the ball fly to the left. Uh, to the right, I should say, right down on top of the 10-pin. Kevin a little short on the head pin. Talked about the final men's roll-off, Dan, being held at the Lakeside Lanes in Manchester for this series. Interesting story from the roll-off, Jim Flynn from Beverly, Mass, who made his first appearance on the show with us last year, threw a 2-0-3 game in the roll-off and did not make it. <laughs> How about that? Did not qualify in the top five. But still, congratulations That's on the 2-0-3. Absolutely. absolutely. As many of us have been involved with the game a long time and don't have a 200 game. Oh, big strike. There it is. It. Our first strike, Bruce Young hits it. You call it, Doug, just a matter of time. Ball breaks a little bit from right to left into the 1-3 pocket, trips the four pin for the strike. What is your high single, Dan? 197. Is that right? Yes, I was hit way back in, God, 68 or 69. Is that right? I was still going to college at the time. And did you threaten 200 that day? Actually, uh, it was the days of uh, score pad and pencil, and actually when I left, that was 207, and they called me at my dormitory. You know, I was, I was, I had 10 marks in a row, and um, but no double strike, so I should have figured that it couldn't be 200. Right. You know, right. they had added 10 pin mistake. So. Obviously, you were keeping your own score then. You had it at 207. <laughs> Smart college boy. <laughs> can't add. Math Still major. <laughs> Still can't. <laughs> relies on the computer. <laughs> no, I was bowling. I wasn't keeping score. <laughs> Nancy Hunt just grazes the head pin on the way by. Maybe, let's see. Yep. Oh, very nice. Spare in the third. Fourth mark for the team, all spares. And now to fill it on lane 31, a pocket hit again, and a little light. Ball's going away from the 1-3 from the pocket that time. And drops seven, which isn't bad, but she leaves herself with the two, the eight, and the 10. No wood. Very difficult spare. The uh, winning team this week will come back to face our number three seeded team, John Maffeo and Tony Wellspring next week. The runners up today, by the way, will share fifth place prize money of Two, four, and ten for Tony. Let's see. Nope, not quite. A little too full on the head pin. Yeah. 
and the nine. Tony Marie Baldinelli, of course, from a very famous bowling family. Tony Marie lives in Amesbury, Mass. She has a 13-year-old daughter, Kristen, uh, Krista, I beg your pardon, Krista. And uh, Tony Marie works for Jordan Medical in Salem, New Hampshire, does a lot of her bowling at the Pilgrim Lanes. And of course, her father is in the Candlepin Hall of Fame. That's correct. Tony Baldinelli. Oh, not quite. I think she thought she had it. She could buy the front piece of wood. She doesn't have much room there. But just slid by to the right of the five pin. Sure, now she's... <laughs> it's awful easy in that third ball. All tied up in this game. Still a 16-pin advantage for Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli just about at the halfway point. We'll be back on Stars and Strikes in a minute. Kevin Davis. Oh, look out. Almost carried the nine pin. But again, he's got to watch the wood. Double piece of wood in front of the nine pin. Oh. Second piece seems to be moving back a little deeper. A lot of to collide and one go right, one go left, and leave the nine pin. Let's see. Well, he decided to go left. I can't believe he missed the front piece of wood that much, but I really question his choice there. Ten box, though. Kevin from Pennacook, New Hampshire, works for Pepsi Cola Food Service. I know you're familiar with Kevin Dan. He does some of his bowling both at Lakeside and at Boutwell's. As I mentioned, he's been making. Uh, a number of appearances uh, here with us on the wins lately. That seems to happen too. Young bowler makes the breakthrough you finally know. gets on the air and <laughs> and then he's he's all a, of a sudden we can't get rid of him. That's right. <laughs> and I think his last shot there has a tendency to, to remind me that he is a young bowler. I think he was trying to overly evaluate the wood shot and decided to go way left instead of just getting up there and attacking the pins. I think if he thought again, I think we don't have that front piece of wood. He got burnt once, and now he's trying to think a little too hard up there. Bruce Young pops through the middle. Again, this is a four-week series, mixed doubles, our annual event here on Stars and Strikes, so a break from our normal singles format. For those of you who didn't get a chance to tune in last week, John Petorski did it. He made it three wins in a row. Coming up from the th number three spot, he knocked off Dave Richards, then Pat Pay, and then last week, Bob Kelly. And John Petorski with a 375 last week moves into the Tri-State Megabucks Tournament of Champions. Right now, John is the third seed among the four bowlers who have qualified. Boy, what a run he had. He pulled super. will still be looking for two more qualifiers later on in the season after this mixed double series is over we'll go back to our singles rotation and we still need two more bowlers for our tri-state megabox tournament of champions And the eight for Nancy. Oh, things have cooled off here a little bit in the second game. This team with only one mark. Spare for uh, Young and Baldinelli and spare for Davis and Hunt. Big first ball that time for Nancy and leaving the five pin.
spare it up. No doubt about that one. <laughs> Push that five pin straight back. Oh, oh, Tony Marie, right in the one-three pocket. Second strike for the team, both in this game. In fact, that's all they've had for Marks in this game. See that ball breaking from right to left and just tripped the eight pin from behind for the strike. He's picking on the one-two pocket this time and wow. that close to a double strike. Just the six pin, nice guide behind it. Oh, watch out. Nope. Too high. And the nine. 92 through eight. So as Kevin Davis comes up here for the final two in game two, the team trailing by 26, but Kevin will cut into that with this fill on the spare. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just six. Sounded like a lot more than that. It certainly did, and it looked like it while going in. Crossed over in the one, two, but uh, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, and ten. Works out of it for a nine box. 97 through nine. Really needs to put a mark up here. The lead now is box is completed, is at 20 for. Young and Baldinelli. Another okay. triangle in the right hand corner, six, nine, and ten. The wood not a factor. Nope. Always a tough spare though, especially when it's in the corner. Yep. For a right hand or two, I think on that side. That's the one time I might move a little bit to the left on the approach. Just give myself a different angle coming at those three pins. But it's a 106. Oh, big two boxes here for Bruce Young because the team is already up by 20 and Bruce has a chance to add to it here. He's right in the pocket. Well, that's a pretty nice setup. Yeah, you and I could take a chance at this one, Doug. <laughs> Four and five, piece of wood dead in front, another one to the right. You could even take a try at that one left-handed. Well. <laughs> you ever done that? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Have you? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun to try. <laughs> Isn't that what we're going to do in that special? No, no, that was. Yeah, you're going to bowl left handed, and I'm going to bowl right handed. <laughs> <laughs> Just three on the spare. That's right, we'll have a reminder coming up after this next break about the bowlathon for the Salem Boys and Girls Clubs. Yeah, but that blindfold, that goes a little too far. I'm not wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bruce with the spare, but. Unable to really take advantage of it. Just the three fill, 113. They do add seven pins to the lead, though, in that second game. So the advantage is 23 with one game to go. Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli to the good. And we'll be back for game three in a minute. All right, a, all right, a quick reminder before we get back to the action. Now, pay attention, Dan, because this is going to be a little confusing, all right? <laughs> the bowl -a -thon to benefit the Salem Boys and Girls Clubs that we've been talking about for the last several weeks was actually held yesterday here at Park Place Lanes. But as of when we are taping this show here on Stars and Strikes, Dan and I have not had our three strings of bowling to benefit the Salem Boys and Girls Clubs yet. So that's why we mention it, because there's still time for you to pledge your money and help out the Salem Boys and Girls Clubs. So if you would like to donate either a flat amount on behalf of either Dan or myself, or if you'd like to pledge an amount per pin for Dan or myself, again, we're bowling three strings to benefit the Salem Boys and Girls Clubs. Please be sure and send in your pledge, including your check or just the amount per pin, and we'll let you know what the amount is. Include your name and address and send it in to Bowlathon, Dan or Doug, put uh, one of our names on there, Park Place Lanes, Route 28, Wyndham, New Hampshire, 03087. We appreciate it, and uh, we will certainly let you know in the weeks to come. Yeah, we will eventually the have result. that match. You won't keep backing out and making excuses. Right. We will have it one of these days. That's correct. I've got your biorhythm charts at home, <laughs> and I'm waiting where I know you're going to have a bad day. 
Spare for Bruce Young to start game three. Young and Baldinelli in the lead by 23. Look like he went, yes, actually went by the three pin, clipped the wood, sent one piece of wood to the 10 pin, and the other clipped the three from behind. Good spare. And right back on it for a strike. Big start for Bruce Young. Well, Bruce apparently is just as comfortable uh, out front as he is in back. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's a lineup change for that team. Sending Bruce up first. I guess Tony knew what she was doing. Nancy's going to lead off for their team. And Nancy will have a spare leave here in the first. They need marks. Here's where the speed of her ball may cost her the 10 pin. That wood angle that way. It's going to keep everything from going into the 10 pin, I'm afraid. Let's see what happens. Got nope. it. Cut it off the wall. Nice shot by Nancy. That's mark number six for the team. All spares. That was a good one. No break that time. Not at all. Three, four, and seven. You just try to cut the three pin over. Went the other way instead. Nine box. Tony Marie Baldinelli. Tony Marie is right in the pocket. That's a double strike. Double strike for Tony Marie Baldinelli and Bruce Young. A little stubborn 10 pin, but eventually just pushed it off the, off the deck, right into the pit. There it goes. Three. How about the triple? Pretty close to one. She's going to have to negotiate a couple pieces of wood way out in front of the eight pin, plus another one right next to it, which she probably doesn't want to cap. Let's see what she decides to do. She's going by the front. Oh, nice, nice shot. Wow. 79 through four with a ball to come. Doesn't get a break off the seven with the seven pin staying up, but the triangle plus the wood gives him a shot at making this spare. Let's see. Yes, fine shot, Kevin Davis. Well, obviously the team needed a lot of marks anyway, and now that double strike will make it even tougher. Oh, Kevin missed the head pin. Let that one slip away to the right, just two on the fill. will be an eight box. We will pause right here. A terrific start in this third game by Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli. And they have extended their lead in week one of our mixed doubles series here on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. We'll be back with the rest of the match after these words. Don't go away. Bruce Young. Can they keep it going? 79 plus this ball. Oh, he's right in there again. Oh, my. Five and ten. Let's see where the wood settles down. Nope. Not good. Going to have to do it on his own. Try to cut the five pin over. But he has to get by the front piece of wood to do that. Oh, he's elected to try to play that wood. So the streak stops at four, but it might have been enough to take this match. We'll see. It's a nine box, a 96 half. <laughs> I had one of those in the leagues the other night, but it was for 10 boxes. <laughs> Bruce appeared to drop that one a little bit, but <laughs> whatever, it <takes. laughs> whatever it takes. <laughs> when things are going good, good things seem to happen. Not quite. Yeah. 
Bruce and Tony Marie have a shot at a 400 triple here. They need a 155 in order to do that, but a couple more marks and they might have it. Nancy Hunt. Nancy from Derry, New Hampshire. She and her husband uh, Bob have two grandchildren, two and a half year old Robbie and five year old Alyssa. And uh, Nancy is self employed, works for Creative Mono, or runs, I should say, Creative Monograms Plus. When you're self employed, you don't work for anybody, do you? <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> Nancy studying the 1710. Just slides by. That'll be an eight box. To lane 31 now. And again, just slipping by the head pin. Almost. And the nine. So Young and Baldinelli in command here as we move down to the final rotation. Tony Marie Baldinelli. Not a bad leave. No, they're missing the head pin, but watch out that wood doesn't cost her the shot though. Yes, it does. Is. <laughs> well, I guess when you've got a 60 some pin lead, you can Yeah, you can afford to miss it. Yeah, you can rest a little easier about that, I guess. Still a shot at a 400 triple though here. Here's what happened on the wood. Just caps it and pushes the wood by the six pin, the ball goes to the left and leaves it standing. Oh, okay. Nothing standing there. <laughs> guess, guess that didn't bother her too much. Tony yeah. Marie ends her work for the day with a big strike. Her second strike of this game and the fifth for the team. They had a double earlier. And Kevin Davis rips one down as well. That's the first strike for the team of Davis and Hunt. Kevin's probably thinking, sure, now I throw a strike. <laughs> Seven on the strike. And they're going to end up with the, uh, a decent three game total under the format of mixed doubles and having to wait so long to get up there in the bowler boxes. But today, uh, in the wrong place at the wrong time with this team of Tony, Tony Marie Baldinelli and Bruce Young. They're just uh, in command most of the way, or leading most of the way. Really took command of it in the first four boxes of this game, opening with a spare double strike spare. Bruce Young from Nashua, New Hampshire. He and his wife Debbie have four children, Don, Mike, Tina Marie and Greg, and also a granddaughter, Gabrielle, seven months old. Bruce is a truck driver, does a lot of his bowling at the Lita Lanes in Nashua. And it's a nine, so 141 in the ninth, so a mark here with a good size fill on it, and it would be a 400 triple for Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli, so that'll give Bruce something to think about here in this tenth. And he'll have a spare leave on the 610. He's got it. That's 396 plus a ball. And that's enough. Seven, 158, and a 403 for Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli. Outstanding score. Absolutely. Of course, the 
mixed doubles team by which all others are measured here on Stars and Strikes. Talked about them earlier. Steve Vadney and Jackie Sterner. They zipped off five straight wins back in the spring of 1987. And even in those five wins, they only had one 400 triple. Ooh, Nancy almost cut the five pin over into the 10. It'll be a nine box. Nancy Hunt for her final box, right in the pocket. And with the wood out front, there are possibilities here. She's gonna need some help. Let's see where it settles down. Now you may wanna go by the front piece and hit the 10 pin with the double piece of wood behind. That's what she's trying to do. Oh, Ooh, oh she didn't too good. catch any of it. <laughs> too sharp. So it'll be a nine box, a 108 for the team of Davis and Hunt. 330 is their three game total. But a big day for Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli. They win it. They'll advance next week. We'll talk about that match and also about our bonus ball contest. $100 up for grabs in a minute. And welcome back to Canapin Stars and Strikes here on The Winds. Again, thanks very much for joining us here on this Super Bowl Sunday, our first week of a four-week series of our annual mixed doubles event. And uh, a big day for Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli as they win it with a 4.03. Let's talk first to our runners-up. A round of applause for Kevin Davis and Nancy Hunt as they come on up. It'll be uh, fifth place prize money for them, sharing $150. And uh, so checks to give out. Congratulations, Nancy. Slide right in here so that we can get you both on camera. Kevin, uh, again, the check for you. And and, uh, well, it, it, it was a tough day against these two. They really had it going. They had a great day. That's, you know, <laughs> what else can you say? We didn't have a great day. It's, uh, it was one of those days, too, Kevin, where it's just neither one of them really had a, a tough spot. They were both uh, going well all day long. Yeah, we didn't get it going, <laughs> unfortunately, again. <laughs> no, I'm 0-3 no this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you keep coming back, though, Kevin. That's the thing we were talking about. We can't yeah. seem to get rid of you. <laughs> <laughs> Not that easy. Not just by losing. I ain't going to leave. <laughs> well, we appreciate uh, your efforts, and, uh, of course, everybody knows how tough it is to get here, so there is an appreciation for that. And the same thing for you, Nancy. Uh, you made an appearance last year and we're on the championship team along with Peter Flynn, so congratulations for coming back again and we hope to see you both again real soon. It's good to be back. All right, thanks very much. Thanks. Congratulations, thanks. Nancy Hunt and Kevin Davis. And uh, now I believe Tony Marie Baldinelli is going to uh, roll the bonus ball for the team of Baldinelli and Young. We have uh, $100 on the line in our bonus ball contest. Of course, uh, if we have a match, the uh, viewer at home who sent in the postcard will win the $100. And uh, in addition to that, the viewer and each of the bowlers on the matching team will win a brand new set of bowling balls. So uh, we try for a match here on a six. And we do not get a match. And we do not get a readable name either. But it's from Concord, New Hampshire, I can tell you that. We'll straighten the rest of it out later. It was not a match. The guess was nine. So that means we'll be up to $110 next week. Slide right in here so that we can get you both on camera. Congratulations, Tony Marie and Bruce. Uh, we haven't seen you for a while. Nice job. Terrific, terrific bowling today. Yeah, it's been one thing after another for me. It's been a long time coming back. But... Well, we appreciate uh, finally getting a chance to see you bowl again. Boy, it was a good day for both of you. Yeah, it was. It was. Bruce did real, real well. <laughs> well. I know, uh, Bruce, this must be a terrific day for you because this is your first chance in front of the cameras, and you seem just as comfortable as you are back there watching. I looked comfortable, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's not as comfortable as you think. <laughs> nice to come on for the first time on television and have Tony Marie Baldinelli as a partner, huh? Yes, sir. When I heard that, I says, all right. <laughs> now it's, uh, it's a long ladder, though. we get a lot, a lot of bowling to do. Well, next week, uh, the number three seeded team will be here, John Maffeo and Tony Wellspring. Uh, you'll be trying to make it two in a row. We'll see you then. Hopefully. All right. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Tony Marie Baldinelli and Bruce Young with the win. And here is what will happen next week here on Stars and Strikes. 
John Maffeo and Tony Wellspring, our number three seeded team, will be here to try and uh, stop the team of Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli. And we bring Dan Murphy back in, and uh, boy, they, they established a, uh, a tough score here. And uh, of course, none of that carries over to next week, but they've got to be feeling pretty confident. Well, that's that's the biggest thing is, is the confidence. And when you get uh, mixed doubles or any kind of doubles when they haven't bowled together before and come out and throw a store like that, uh, it really carries over to the next week. All right, keep in mind, uh, we will be back next weekend here on the wins. Of course, Saturday at noon with the second week of our regular men's doubles series. Next Sunday at noon here on the Winds, we'll have week two of our mixed doubles championship series. Bruce Young and Tony Marie Baldinelli against John Maffeo and Tony Wellspring. Until next weekend, enjoy the Super Bowl, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. For Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. Take care.